Well, it, it goes a lot beyond that, see, because what what the African Legend series really is all about mm-hmm. is positioning um, the correct epic, tradi- epic tradition of history. The, yeah. the ancient Kushite people mm-hmm. were the first of what you call the, the the epic traditions of all of all humanity. Mm-hmm. That's what this is all about. It's the, it's about it's about repositioning um, the ancient the ancient epic tradition that used to be. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so the 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 first thing I got into when I opened up the book, like first I want to talk about the story. Obviously, like the characters, the imagery, like I, I'm in the, I love authors. I love people who write. I, I have an idea for a story I've been wanting to work on. So I, I'm a hundred percent into it. So I, I love the imagery, but what really impacted me was you start off giving a lot of information, a lot of historical information right mm-hmm. off the bat. And that's kind yeah. of rare that you get that much. What, okay. What, why did you just decide to start with that? Like loading up. When you're going to introduce what, um, we're talking about here. When you want to put that into people's hands, you have to know that you're coming up against a background that's anti all of that. Yeah, you're coming up against a background that obscures everything that has to do with the with this tradition, mm-hmm. um, because it is too powerful um, for for you know for it to be let out. Yeah. So I started that book with that glossary mm-hmm. to let people know, hey. You're getting a story, but guess what? It's packed full of real, real history and real tradition. 